Tell you there. Hmm? Ted? There's no point in logging on and wandering off again. It's not like I can go anywhere. Oh, come on. I have better things to do than no, sit you, and... Uh... Christ, Ted, switch your camera on and stop eavesdropping. On it. Are you still in your pyjamas? Yeah. What exactly is the point in getting dressed? Who am I going to see? Don't say you, so you don't count. I should take that as a compliment. Really? I should work on my delivery. Well, I hear Deliveroo are hiring. <laughs> Not bad for 11am. Thank you. But then some of us have been up for hours. Why? For the same reason you should get dressed. It's important while we're working from home to stick to a routine. Henry, you've got to stop listening to those government guidelines. They're going to kill your creativity. Oh, wait. <laughs> Look, surely it makes sense even to a misfit like you to have some normality. Or abnormality in your case. You wouldn't turn up to work at my house dressed like that, would you? I might start. Love my pyjamas. What's my best side? The back of your head. It was me thinking that we were comedy writers. Speaking of which, brainstorming time. Look, every Tom, Dick and Sally Wainwright are going to be pitching scripts to TV companies desperate to fill their empty schedules. So we must get, get in there fast. Yeah, we could possibly get some big names attached to a project. Since even the most in-demand actors want to work for weeks, mm. if not months. I mean, look at Judy Dench. Reduced to sending out messages dressed as a rabbit. I love that. I thought that was some of her best work, actually. How ironic. Years of Shakespeare and our national treasure is more critically acclaimed by you as a fluffy bunny. What can I say? I'm an animal lover. And a pleb. Yes. That aside, we need to thrash out some ideas. Come on. Now this is stupid. How do we usually start? Well, usually I turn up at your place late, you complain, and then make us both a cup of tea. Oh, I forgot my sugar again. What? <sighs> okay, I'll start putting down some ideas. And maybe we could use a shared document so we can both contribute. Now, I tried sharing an online spreadsheet with my accountant once. Deleted a month's worth of expenditure, and they banned me after that. Said they'd pay me to keep away. It's rude if you ask me. Hmm. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like paying you to keep away. But fine, I'll type. As usual. So, what are people going to want to watch in a few months' time? Hmm? Well, anything that isn't a rerun. I start to watch things so frequently now. I'm Telling the actors their lines before they say them. In fact, I've often given them better ones. Yeah, we might need to narrow it down a bit. Maybe try something super commercial. Think more BBC One, less BBC Three. Come on, Ted, you're the ideas man. Hmm? Oh, this is ridiculous. We never have this issue. Usually I can't shut you up. It can't make that much of a difference not being in the same room. What are we missing? Hmm? Ah, I got it. Usually you pace. Well, I take more than five steps in here. I'll fall out the window. That's why we have to work at yours. Well, you can maybe get a bigger place. Like, I know we aren't Phoebe Waller Bridge, but as comedy writers go, we do make a living. Dad's way of coping with two motherless daughters was to buy us tickets for feminine lectures and start fucking our godmother. It's a sad day. A sad, sad day. I'll get the champagne. I don't think Bill Patterson said that line. I didn't even sound slightly Scottish. She didn't sound much like Olivia Coleman either. 
I hardly think your Phoebe Waller Bridge impression would get you into RADA. In any event, we should both spend less time watching other people's comedies and write our own. We don't want to be known as a two hit wonder team. So you need to start pacing. All right, I'm going. Ted? Ugh. Ted, are you alright? Yeah, I can't pace and be inspired and check what people have left on the floor. And by people you mean... You have no idea who I have hidden away in my flat. Ah, yes, of course, your invisible friends. <laughs> hey, perhaps some of those could help with ideas. Why do I have to be the ideas man? For the same reason you have imaginary friends throwing things on your floor. You have a, a warped, weird, and occasionally funny mind. Now pace. Okay, this is the baddest, hardest boot camp you're gonna get this side of the West Coast. Come on, keep going, keep going. Move it, move it, move it. Yeah, come on. Drive it. Come on now. Push it hard to the do left. Do I look like Come I'm on. dressed for a dance boot camp? Push it now. You want me to ask that? No, I do not. Two, two, left, left, left. Come on. Bring those. Finally. Have you got anything yet? Not really. I'm now fully focused on how loud my footsteps are. Which is weird because I'm barefoot. Which must mean the footsteps are in my head. Roll opening credits. Yeah? Hey. I think I've got it. It's very careless, Henry. It's all reason why we're isolated in the first place. No, Ted, listen. What you said about roll opening credits. On us. Hmm? This is why I'm the ideas man. No, seriously, Ted, why can't we write about us as characters? You can be pretty funny. Well, we can be pretty funny. No, you were right the first time. I'm pretty funny. You, not so much. Right, I'm muting you. What? We need to write something current with which everyone can identify, but that's also funny. So why can't we write about us trying to work in isolation and how much harder it is than being in person? It can be comical while making a relevant point about the need we humans have for physical contact. Hmm? Hey, what's wrong with that idea? Oh, right. But be nice or I'll silence you again. We should always had a mute button. Okay, well for a start, I'd avoid pitching it like that. Because even I lost the will to listen, and I'm used to you. Remind me why I work with you again. Why don't I just write on my own? Write on your own? You can't even write anything with me. Besides, people know us as a double act. And if we split up, who's, who's our agent going to go with? Well, since she's my sister, I feel it would be more than likely she would stick with me. No. True. Blood is a, it's a strong tie. But great sex is a force to be reckoned with. What? You had sex with my sister. Okay, <laughs> no, but your your face when I said it is an absolute <sighs> picture. Ted, you're a twat. This video call is brilliant. Okay, so what do you think about my idea, if not my pitch? Hmm. Maybe we could even use that phrase as our title: "The footsteps are in my head." Well. Can Keanu Reeves play me? I really identify with Keanu Reeves. Seriously? Isn't he a little old to play a rising star of the writing world? Also perhaps a little Hollywood A-list. I said think BBC, not NBC. We could make my character hugely successful. An American. And a, an Oscar-winning screenwriter in LA. Who's mentor to your character in dreary London via <laughs> Zoom. Your character is certainly not going to be mentoring mine. If this is supposed to be based on us, it should be the other way around. Hmm? You wouldn't even get out of bed.
if I didn't nag you. So let's go. Right. Footsteps are in my head. Hmm. Episode one, scene one. Interior, a writer's room. Day? Yes, day. Yeah. Good. What are you doing? I'm just looking over your shoulder. Because that's what we do when we're writing and it always really winds you up and you push me away, but it works. I mean, there's nothing we can do on here to replicate that because it's, it's physical. I, mean, I, I, I ought to be there. I ought to be with you. I miss you too. That's not what I said. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and if you ever bring that up in future, I'll deny it. Mm. Of course you will. Oh, gee. don't tell me you bought something else from Amazon. No wonder you have no room in your flat. Might be your sister. Ted. Gotta go. Ted, we must write something. We're gonna... Ted. Wonderful. Looks like we've come up with a new condition. Isolation writer's block. That's it. That's it! What's it? Isolation writer's block. Right, so it's, it's like your idea, it's only mine, so, so it'll be better. So it, it's based on the old Hollywood studios, yeah, where they kept all the screenwriters in one spot. Hmm? So it'll be similar sort of story as ours, own, hey. only Ted, I can't. futuristic... Ted, you're so breaking up. It'd be about Ted, I can't hear... How you... Needed human contact. Slow. In the future, they're going to need human contact. Ted, I can't be, hear I can you. Do... You. Great. Just great.